Good afternoon, YouTubers and model railroaders. Well, um, took a break from lane track and uh, really enjoyed running some trains on my mainline tracks that I finished. And uh, took a short video of it last night. And uh, Container Man 68. Uh, loved the trains that were running, but he asked me where the uh, grain elevator was. So I got to thinking, you know, I do have that model kit just sitting there waiting to be built. It is obviously rail served. Let's build it. So that's the Wathers kit that I'm building. And I had to take a video of it because, or a partial video of what I'm doing and where I'm at. Because the model itself was actually uh, actually pretty easy to build. Um, the only complaint that I have from Wathers is that this grain elevator has 45, 50, say, I think 56 windows in it. And they're all on one giant sprue, and they're all connected at four points and you so you have to make four cuts for every window times 50 something and then go back and sand them down get the the little uh, pieces you might have missed smooth them out so they sit flush on the inside of the building when you try to glue them so it's a little bit of tedious work on that part but all in all it went together well and uh I want to thank Container Man 68 for giving me a little kick in the pants to uh, to get it done. And uh, I'm not quite there. I'm working on it. Um, I'm going to move here and show you where I'm at on my workbench. Excuse the nasty mess it is, but that's where I'm at right now. And you can see all the win nice little windows I had to make four cuts on and then sand each four corners. You know how that goes, but is what it is and it's getting there it's coming along and as you can see on my nice little crimson rose colored paint palette I'm trying some weathering as I go so I don't have to do it all together and it's just turned out fantastic and Vinny uh, I want to credit you with giving me the motivation to get her done uh, I know you're working on your layout, so I had to do this one, and I needed to do this one to get this one under my belt because I want to get better at it. So I'm using this wicked paint, and it's crimson red, let me tell you. And I'm using a little bit of white just to, just to soften it up, and I really don't have a lot of experience with it, so... You can see I got some pretty pinks and some rose color, and no, it's not going to work. So, just not for me personally. If it's, if it's if it's your color, more power to you. Just not for me. So, what I've got, what I'm doing, I'm doing. I I took these pieces out. These are all walls, and I prime went out, took them outside, primed them. Um, over the cans at but I primed them with some just some standard gray primer and let them dry took this sponge here did main, mostly I'm gonna try to do this one-handed mostly the red okay just a dab of white just to try to lighten it up a little bit okay now this is probably gonna stick to the sponge but see how the corrugations are going up and up and down so I'm gonna to try to stick with that and what I want is a weathered wow this is weird doing this sort of camera is a just a weathered unmaintained look not a run down look but just um, walls that need to be painted so it's just like it's worn through and showing a bit sorry about the shadow showing a little bit of the primer through like it's chipping off there's some dark spots some light spots 
and I think it just turned out great. It's the easiest thing in the world uh, as far as painting I've ever done. Um, um, excuse the movement. I'm going to turn turn here and just show you some other pieces that I've got done. Okay, these are pieces of the head house on top of the silos. You can see, excuse the reflection there. You can see a little bit of the the paint showing through to the primer. Not horrible, just worn and weathered. Not terribly. This is uh, one of the walls for, uh, I believe, the rail served side of the silo. There's a side that's also for truck service. I'm going to try to do that. That's a little better. So I might have to go over that one a little more. There's the end of the head house. Two sides. I got to put the windows in there, obviously, after it dries. But um, this is turning out great. And uh, I'm so glad I did it. Um, it's not going to beat Vinny's build by any means. But this is my little take on the concrete grain elevator from Wathers. It actually cooperated. Like I said, the windows were a little tedious. But nothing, as long as you just just do it, hammer down and get done, it'll you'll get through it. Not a big deal. But this paint and uh, this technique here, I ro um, excuse me, I watched Ron Piskel's latest video on calling the painters, and he was using a similar technique with a sponge, and I believe that was a laser cut wood kit. Um, so I don't necessarily have to sand down because this is a plastic model, but I'm just leaving it through uh, Just to show through a little bit like that I'm not going to get real crazy with it because I don't want to flatten out the the corrugated siding uh, I don't want to flatten that out so but if there's another method that I can add to this or something else I can do uh, like I said I'm open for suggestions so I just wanted to I had to take a video of it I wasn't going to until I was done but this is working out real well and then obviously I'm gonna have to do some some streaking I have some chalks and I'm gonna try to just do some light streaking down the silos and some of the some of the building uh, coming down underneath the windows and check this out this is a doorway, I would guess a fire escape door, to death. Because <laughs> there's, no, there's no provisions for a ladder, a platform, a parachute, nothing. And that's two stories, maybe three. And what's going here is an angled roof to the train, um, to the train shed. When the train's pulling in... Uh, load or unload their uh, their grain so if there's a fire inside of there they go to run out the door they're breaking a leg or two or dead so I'm going to try to work on getting uh, a platform built with a little with some railings uh, a ladder to come down to the roof of the uh, the train shed or maybe build a platform and go up, but if there's a fire, it's normally there, so you probably want to go down. So, yeah, probably a ladder to go down onto the roof that's going to be here, and then off of the building. So, give me, uh, give me some comments, give me some suggestions. Let me know what you guys think. I was just really, uh, really pleased with the way this is coming out. Again, I want to, I want to th say thanks to, uh, Container Man 68 and Ron Piskel and Vinny for uh, giving me the motivation to uh, do this modeling and uh, enjoy the hobby a little bit more. Thanks guys and gals. Have a great weekend.